Hey guys, I'll quickly go through how to add a shaky camera effect um, to your camera in Maya and also how to add um, keyframeable attributes that control the um, camera shake. So you can um, increase and decrease the speed or the amplitude which is like the amount of shake for both the horizontal and the vertical shake. Um, Alright, so just to show a preview, this is like a normal camera animation just following a sphere and when I add values to the shakes, um, it will start to shake and you can also increase and decrease as well. Alright, so I will show how to do it from scratch. I'll just get rid of this camera and start from new. Um, I'm gonna go to perspective view. I have this uh, grid turned on so I can see where the character or object of focus should be in the grid. Um, I'm just going to press F on it so it is centered. Once I have the rough angle that I want, um, I'm going to um, control shift C to make a new camera. I'll just call it shot1. And then I'm gonna uh, go escape out. Um, then I'll select the camera and then go to panels, look through selected. So it's on my left side. And then on the right side, I have the perspective view. Um, on the perspective, I'm just gonna turn off the grid. Um, and, oh, all right. So I'm gonna look at the camera on the perspective view on like a third person view and I can edit it here and I'm just gonna use this camera's view for reference as what it's looking like through the camera. Um, I'll select the camera and get rid of like the rotation values that I don't really need and I'll recenter it Alright, so um, that's roughly where I want the camera to be at. So I will keyframe it at the start on one, and then I'll go all the way to the end and put another keyframe, and I'll move it to be in front of the sphere again, like this. Actually, you know what? I'll just color the sphere because. Uh, <laughs> I don't think it's uh, very distinguishable from the tree looking figures. Uh, so new material, Lambert. Um, make it red. That's visible. Alright, uh, so I'm also just gonna, so there's two keyframes, I'm also gonna just put it into tangents linear and I've also made the sphere animation also on linear which means there's no spline, no easing in and easing out. So the camera is like following it exactly in the center like that. All right, so now that that's set up, um, I'll go through the actual shaky cam options. So um, go to the, select the camera, then go to the attribute editor. Make sure you're on the shape of the camera and then scroll down and you'll find film back and in that uh, make sure that shake enabled is ticked. Then you will see two values. The first one is horizontal shake and the second one is vertical shake. So what we're gonna do to add like random shakes is give them noise expressions. It's really easy, I'll show you how. So I'll just go, I'll do the first one which is horizontal. So right click it and do create new expression. Uh, I'm just gonna call it um, H shake and then um, I'll just type out the um, how the noise expressions structure is just so you can see uh, and then I will edit it with the values that we want. Alright so um, the noise expression is like you do the first is the cam like whatever is the camera name equals noise and then you put open and closed brackets semicolon inside the bracket do frame times um, 
speed and then outside the bracket times amplitude so um, here you put the speed value and here you put the amplitude value so I'm gonna um, slash it so it's not affecting anything and then I'm gonna actually put in the values right now so for the camera name you go to the selected object and attribute thing this name you copy it paste it and then go to equals noise and then frame times um, I'm just gonna give it 0 0.1 and then times another 0 0.1 Ooh, 0 0.1 okay and I'm gonna get rid of this and create so now this turned purple because it has an expression on it and there should be a horizontal shake going see it's just in the horizontal yeah um, and we'll do the same thing for the vertical as well so right click on the vertical value create new expression and you select the name equals noise and then uh, frame times 0.1 times 0.1 oh my god 0.1 and create so um, sorry I forgot to name it so um, V shake edit and you'll see there's a H shake and a V shake in the camera's attributes alright so again there will be a vertical and a horizontal shake but now that you have the expression you can't really control like every time you wanna change the value of the vertical or horizontal you have to go back into edit expression and that's just a pain so I'll just go through how to um, add custom attributes so you can control it so just select the camera go to your channel box or layer it, channel box editor go to edit um, add attribute call it um, H shake speed press enter um, hmm, that's interesting uh, actually I'll do it camel case I'm trying to because there's a nice name so I'm trying to get the nice name Oh well, I'm just gonna put an underscore. Doesn't really matter. Anyways, H shake speed. Uh, so for speed, I'm just gonna do between zero and one, and make sure that it's on float. And I'm gonna do add instead of okay because I have more um, more attributes to make. So that's H shake speed let's make a H shake um, amplitude so I'm just gonna call it amp for amplitude I'm gonna just do like between 0 and 0 0.1 but if you want more you can add more um, and now I'm gonna do vertical shake speed so again for speed I'm gonna do between 0 and 1 add vertical shake amplitude so AMP between 0 and 0 0.1 add so I'm just gonna check that my limits are correct so for the amplitudes it's max 0 0.1 and shake speed it's max 1 again you can put in whatever like depending on the shot and how much shakiness you want you can put in whatever limits you want um, just make sure it's in float um, yeah so what we have to do is now link these um, attributes to the two values in the expressions so that's easy to do um, alright so first of all 
um, I'll add in the shakes, H shake speed. So I'll select that one and edit um, edit attribute. Wait, no. Um, okay, so edit expressions. So that will give you the name. You just have to copy the name here and then go back to attributes, edit expressions. So it's horizontal shake, speed. Sh uh, the speed is the one inside the brackets. So I'm just going to paste it there. Make sure to press edit or else when you escape out of the window, it will reset. So press edit first. And then I'm going to close. I'm going to go to shake amp, go to edit expressions, copy that. edit expression and then I'm gonna paste it here so um, it's kind of predictable like what the structure is so I should just be able to like for the next one I'll show you I'm gonna go to edit expression for the vertical um, I'm gonna paste the same thing from the other one except I'll swap out the H with the V and that should work Yep, it did work. I'm gonna paste the same thing here, except in I'm gonna swap out both the H to V and also change this to speed and edit. And that worked. So right now, both of the values will be zero because all of these are zero. So nothing is happening. And of course, you put in whatever value you want and there's shake happening and yeah that's basically it now you can keyframe it um, super fast extremely fast <laughs> yeah you don't you just need very small values really for this one so yeah that's it that's how you do camera shake and add custom attributes that's all bye